Hey guys, this is Caleb with DSLRVideoShooter.com where it's all about making better videos and welcome back to another episode of Around the Studio. I don't know if I should just start doing these every Thursday. Um, lots going on, so it's nice to do these little casual videos. And I do have a Hero 4, so finally got a GoPro and that should help with the quality versus the old iPhone stuff. Lots going on this week, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Next week, there's going to be a video on my overhead camera rig showing how I built it from scratch. Looks complicated, it's really not complicated, but it's super versatile and uh, I love it to pieces. Don't know how I lived without this thing before. Moving on, I finally got my hands on a Sony A6300. Unfortunately, I haven't really had a chance to really put it through its paces. So that'll be coming up and I should have a first impressions video soon. Unfortunately, there's no headphone jack in this camera, but I think I found a really easy workaround. So I'll be doing um, some content on that. And here I've got a little box and I plan on making what I'm gonna call the 6300 Pro box. So I'll have XLR ports back here, uh, HDMI pass through. It's gonna be pretty, pretty great. So I can't wait to get working on that project. So uh, it's not going to be hacking the camera like I did on the GH4. So I'm not gonna be tearing into the camera, um, but I will be making something pretty dope with that. So we'll see how that turns out. And speaking of camera hacks, I've made some progress on the GHC100. Um, first of all, I don't have attached to this bottom thing, but I'm going to be having two uh, battery slots. And uh, this is going to house some power stuff. So you'll be able to have two GH4 batteries and uh, make this thing last forever because those batteries are already great. And then you'll notice on the top, I have finished the um, beginnings of the top handle. So I went ahead and epoxied on a uh, plate here. You'd think that wouldn't be very strong, but the way I did it, running a bolt down in there, it seems to be super strong. So I've done some stress tests and it seems to be pretty great. So making progress, almost have all the parts for the audio stuff, and then I'll, uh, get working on that. I recently picked up a Zoom H1 and I have an H4N and it works great, but I uh, have been thinking about a project that I'd love to do. And um, if you'll notice here, let me zoom in a little bit. I have specced out um, a huge hack project and you probably notice I have a new obsession. So um, hopefully this stuff doesn't bother you that I'm constantly doing these hacks, but I plan on taking the H1 and ripping it apart. I think I can remap pretty much all of the buttons and create something like this. So on this side, we have inputs and there will be a preamp. And from there, it goes into the recorder where you can record, have all the functionality that you would on a standard H1. And then an output, you'll have two XLR outs or you can flip some switches and have two 3.5 millimeter outs as well as your volume control and two headphone jacks. And you might be thinking, but Caleb, there's only one um, input on this guy, but it's stereo. So I'm gonna be splitting it mono, and then in post you'll be able to have two different microphones and be able to play with switching them back to stereo. So I'm um, looking forward to getting started on that. That should be pretty awesome. This whole thing is gonna go in a Pelican case and uh, be pretty, pretty sick. And then finally to wrap things up, I am toying with the idea of starting a new channel, a second channel. Now don't freak out, Diesel Art Video Shooter is my baby, I'm not gonna be quitting that or stopping doing videos there. But I've, as you probably t can tell, been really getting into DIY stuff and I wanna kinda branch beyond camera hacks. I love that stuff and obviously I have lots of that going on, but I love to get into just the whole world of DIY, hacking, making, so I'm considering starting a channel. I'd love to hear your thoughts um, on that and if you guys have any input. Um, the reason I'm doing it is I don't wanna alienate the people that come to DSLR Video Shooter for camera and gear and tutorial style videos. I don't want them to show up and they're not interested in DIY. At the same time, I don't want people finding my videos who love DIY but then aren't interested in camera reviews and lenses and things like that. They just wanna see you know, hacks and things like that. So let me know your input. Do you think I should not do any DIY on this channel and exclusively do that on another channel or keep doing camera hacks here and then just keep, you know, speaker builds, uh, table saw stuff, woodworking on a different channel. 
Let me know. Would love to hear your guys' thoughts. That does it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next week. Hope you have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you soon.